I'm like riding a surfboard on the grass. <laughs> hold, hold on one second. I brought peanut butter. Here. Thank you. <laughs> The friends, I struggled with late night eating my entire life, and I know I'm not the only one. So in this video, I'm gonna give, share a little bit of my struggle with you, then I'm gonna share with you how I hacked late night eating, lost 130 pounds, kept it off for six years, and I'm now getting in the best shape of my life, and I'm also gonna share with you some of my favorite late night snacks. So if you don't know, I have struggled with late night eating since I was very young. Five to 10 years old was when it started. I also struggled with my weight around the same time. During that time, I fell for all of the weight loss, fitness industries, I guess you would call them rules about late night eating, that it was bad, that you stop eating at a certain time, you don't eat carbs after a certain time. I tried all of those and all that happened was it would make me go further and further into late night eating and I would do more and more late night eating and gain more and more weight. And I did this and then I started doing yo-yo dieting and fad, trying fad diets and I just kept going back to late night eating every night until I reached my heaviest weight of 275 pounds where I had developed massive health problems sleep apnea so bad I was stopping breathing seven times a night, partially stopping breathing 84 times in one night, using a machine to breathe at night, um, barely walk because of plantar fasciitis. I finally realized I have been fighting late night eating my entire life and every day I do it. Why am I fighting it? If I like eating late at night, is it really bad? Then I realized there is one rule to lose weight. You have to eat less. You need to be in a calorie deficit. So if I could build what I like of late night eating into a calorie deficit, if I could build it into my day and eat within a certain amount of calories, I could eat what I wanted at the times that I wanted and lose weight. So I thought, well, nothing else is working. I may as well give this a try. So Kyle, who was 375 pounds, diagnosed with type two diabetes, we had nothing left to lose and we basically needed to save our lives. So we decided, both of us struggled with late night eating. We decided let's build in late night snacks that we like yeah, into we're, a calorie deficit. It's not been working so well trying to pretend that we're not, we don't like eating late at night. <laughs> so let's acknowledge it and try building it in. Well, guess what? It worked. At first we couldn't do calories because we weren't ready, numbers were overwhelming us, so we tried eating less through portion control. We were reading the backs of packages and using the serving sizes on the nutrition labels. It helped us because we had so much weight to lose. We ended up losing 50 pounds in three months and then we went on to lose 130 pounds each and keep it off for six years because we were eating what we liked in portion and we were having snacks at night. And we stopped all the labeling and the scheduling and the times and you can't do this, you can't eat this, you can't too late past 7 p.m. And or so many people fall for that. Like Kyle said, like there's like a 7 p.m. rule. That used to be the universal time back when we grew up. Like everyone, every magazine, every TV show said 7 p.m. You cannot eat past. Don't eat past that. Or then it switched to don't eat carbs past a certain time or um, don't eat before bed. Well, Kyle and I eat late night snacks and we eat right before bed. And we've been doing that the entire weight loss journey. And now I'm fitting into my first size five we're in the best shape we've ever been, and we eat two snacks late at night. And one of them's peanut butter in the snack. Yes, and so we're gonna show you. Right before bed, literally. Right before bed, we literally eat right before bed. So if you're somebody who likes eating late at night and you've been fighting it and it's not working, what worked for us was building in late night snacks into our day. We allow for uh, some of our meals to be at night 
when we know we like to watch TV and eat snacks. And now we'll show you some of the ones that we choose that are best actually suited for late night. Yeah, what we love with a snack, what we found throughout our weight loss journey was we liked low calorie, high volume foods, meaning foods that were low calorie that you could eat a lot of. Um, you so wanna show them the, the specific one actually that works before sleep. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna show you first the one that we eat right before bed, and then I'm gonna show you the one that pretty much saved our lives. So the one that works right before bed is we eat 1% cottage cheese, half a cup, and cottage cheese is amazing because it is a slow digesting pro protein. It's called casein protein. So when you combine that with a healthy fat like peanut butter, and we do one tablespoon mixed with the cottage cheese, and then we throw in some sweetener, zero calorie sweetener and unsweetened cocoa Well, calories. I don't throw it in, I place it in very gently. But oh. Nicole throws it in, she's a little reckless. I'm a little reckless and I threw it in <laughs> and then it bings up everywhere because it's powdery. But anyway, you mix it together, it makes like um, almost like a chocolate peanut butter pudding. And in the beginning when we didn't like the texture of cottage cheese, we blended it with a little bit of non-dairy milk and it was smooth and then we could be okay with the texture. So don't treat cottage cheese like a stepchild, guys. It this is, is especially, Everyone asks us, how are you not hungry when you're cutting back on the food? Cottage this, cheese, casein protein, slow digesting. This is why combining the protein, slow digesting, with the fat holds us over all night. It feeds our muscles while we're sleeping. It is keeping us full, digesting slowly all night so that we're not starving when we wake up in the morning. Now, that's when we eat right before bed. The one that we like to eat after everything's done, we've eaten our dinner, and we like to hang out and watch movies. It's one of our favorite things to do. Everybody loves eating snacks and watching movies. We eat this one. The one I'm gonna show you literally saved our lives. We've been eating it since the very beginning of our journey, and we will eat it probably forever. <laughs> And I'll give you a tip before we share this. If we ever watch movies with you guys in person, don't let Nicole pick. Let Kyle pick <laughs> the movies. No, let, let Colas pick. That's me, Nicole. I pick the best movies in the <laughs> Trust me, friends. Let me pick. Guys, I pick Cutting Edge, Beetlejuice. Come on. He picks boring stuff. You like mall rats. Enough said. That's mall? why you don't let Nicole pick. Guys, you're laughing. You're like, yeah, mall rats is the best movie ever. Hey, Nick, one of Nicole's favorite movies is Waterworld. Enough said. It's Kevin Costner with gills. How do you not like that? <laughs> it's popcorn. That is the snack. We buy the 94% fat-free Smart Pop. We find it at Walmart. Um, you can get it anywhere. But what we love about this is the whole bag is less than 200 calories, like 190 calories or something. We eat the whole thing. Make sure it's a Smart Pop, though. It has to be the Smart Pop, the 94% fat-free, or when they don't have this, we buy the kernels and we pop it ourselves. We measure about 70 grams of popcorn kernels and then it makes about eight and a half cups, which is about two calories, two, not two, which is about 200 calories. So we have 200 calories worth of popcorn. Sometimes we top it with spray, cooking spray, just a little bit because that does add calories and some salt or kernel seasoning, and you can literally get out any flavor craving that you have with the kernel seasoning. So the cooking spray is 10 calories per second. So you gotta go. So be very, very quick. Just a little bit, cheat, 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 and that's it. But popcorn, full of fiber, you get a ton. This bag makes a huge bowl. I am so full, it feels like a never ending bowl. I'll look and I'm eating and I'm like, wow, I still have so much left. It is satisfying, it keeps me full, and it's a, a low calorie snack that I can eat and pretty much last the whole movie. It'll so, get you through movies like Waterworld. Guys, Kevin Costner with gills. Like, just watch it, okay? Just take my advice, watch it. And then, if I'm still a little bit hungry or I'm craving something else, I've got a couple of other snacks here that I'll show you that I like to eat because they are low calorie and you can eat quite a few of them for a little bit of calories. Sometimes I even top these on my popcorn if I have a few extra calories what? to play around with. Yes, isn't this amazing? Goldfish, who would have known a kid's snack? First of all, they're made with whole grains if that's something that is important to you. So they are gonna be a bit slower digesting. Second, they come in amazing flavors like explosive pizza and Parmesan. And 36 of these fish is 90 calories. So you can have like two servings for less than 200 calories, or you can put a, a little handful on your popcorn like I do and have a 
low calorie snack mix. Yeah, make it fun. It's like, oh my gosh, these are so good. I take these at anywhere. So they're portable, you throw them in your lunch pail. Anywhere you need a low calorie snack, they can be portioned out in containers. Next. Where are you, are you, do you have like a well down that you're bending over to pick up all these snacks? You ever watch um, the big comfy couch like with, Lu is it Lunette and Molly where like they just keep pulling stuff out of the couch? Do you no. know that one? No. They do, they do, the, 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 the people watching know. She just pulls <laughs> stuff out of her couch? That's what I'm doing. Okay, you have, a, you have a couch down there. <laughs> my big couch. A magic couch, okay. Got it. But it's the lawn, it's fine. It's summer right now, but even in, like, do you guys, I like ice cream, so does Kyle. It doesn't matter if it's freezing cold winter, in can, like in Canada, it's freezing. I don't care, I'll eat ice cream anytime. So if I have a craving for ice cream, I discovered these creamsicles. They you are, discovered them. No one else ever bought them before, Nicole. I, I even invented them, okay? So first of all, they come in three different flavors. Originalities. And second, they're half a fat for one bar and 70 calories. So they come in orange, raspberry, blueberry. So literally can get out whatever craving you have. It's an ice cream bar. And guess what? One is 70 calories. 70? So yes. So you can have like three of them. Whoa. Or whatever you want, depending on how many calories you have left over. Sometimes I'll save some calories and I'll have three or four. Yeah, so guys, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about when you eat, it's no. calories in, calories out. And we have lots of videos on how you calculate, calculate, how you calculate your calories. Yeah, we'll actually link, we'll link that video in the comments below. So go watch that one. It'll show you how to get a calorie deficit for you. Exactly, and for me personally right now, I'm eating 1,900 to 2,000. That is working for me, and I'm getting the most fit I That's ever have. That's per day. Per, yeah, per day, not ever, always. And then, okay, I'm gonna show you my next favorite thing. Kyle's not really a hot drinky person, but I am. So I discovered some low calorie drinks, um, low calorie or sugar-free French vanilla cappuccino, which I love cappuccino, and this apple cider sugar-free spiced apple cider. One package of this is 10 calories. And the cool thing is when you drink liquid, especially with meals, it actually fills your belly up. So when I drink one of these at night with my popcorn, I am like super full. And it gets out my hot drink craving. We also and drink the uh, real organic apple cider vinegar with some water with our cottage cheese and peanut butter for digestion. Yes, and it helps with bloating and stuff. And then this is, I think, two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons is 50 calories. And this stuff is amazing. Comes in a ton of flavors. I also like light hot chocolate. It, I don't know, something about it makes me feel comforty, being comforting at night. So those are our favorite snacks. Literally built late night eating. That's how we hacked it. We built late night eating into our day. We were able to lose 130 pounds each and keep it off for six years. And now we're getting, we are in the best shape we've literally ever been in in our entire lives. Literally. literally. I'm having word problems. So you are not alone. We struggle with late night eating too. We figured it out. We eat late at night. And if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we got two weight loss guides in the links down below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes, everything in there that we ate and used to lose the weight. Or you can watch these two videos for free. We love you guys. I'm gonna lawnmower out because we love lawnmowering. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You're grass surfing, lawnmowering, you're off the rails. I'm getting today. sweaty. And look, this is a beam PG. We can't look too to... close because it's PG. So we're gonna shake our beam and shake our beam and shake our beam. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Shake our beam. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We love you. <laughs> Peace out. See ya. Thanks for watching. Love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Bite through it.